Pillar number five of the Athlete Development Framework is Intelligent Racing. Intelligent Racing is about managing the dynamics of a race by fearlessly and intelligently exploiting your own and others' capabilities. Triathlon is a very complex and fluid sport across three disciplines in two hours with ever different courses and opponents. To successfully navigate world level races, a large number of split second decisions have to be made, often under significant pressure. Physical competence is massive in triathlon, it's huge. We're a physical sport. However, the closer athletes get to an Olympic podium, the closer the margins of victory and differences in physical abilities become. Arguably the better athletes make better decisions, and not only that, but they are fearless in their exploitation of their own and others' capabilities. There are quite literally hundreds of decisions that need to be made, and the quality and speed of these is hugely important. Olympic bronze medalist Vicky Holland is one of our most intelligent racers, and by her own admission she is constantly making decisions for the entire two hours of an Olympic distance race. In the swim, she has to contend with and consider the type of water, river, lake or sea, the wind and weather conditions along with swell, current, tide, temperature, wetsuit and non-wetsuit, will all impact her decisions. The type of start, her start position and the position of the first boy are all critical, along with what she believes her strengths and weaknesses are versus her competitors. And all of that happens before the gun goes. Once the gun has gone, then she must make decisions according to her position, quality of start and her pace strategies, as well as ensuring she gets on the right feet, covers gaps, avoids wasting energy and getting slowed down with contact, especially at the boys, and swims the best line. Once through transition and on the bike, it's about making immediate quick decisions to either exploit or recover position, and using those around to best effect by being on the right wheel and in the right position at all times. This has to be balanced with her energy output and then either cooperating with or exploiting those around her for maximum impact. Okay, so you get the picture. There are lots and lots of decisions to make. So what's the process that supports these decisions? Vicky started racing in 1994, so she has 23 years of experiences in her bank of intelligent racing knowledge. 13 from triathlon and an additional 10 years of swimming and running. The more relevant experiences she has in her bank, the more likely she is to be able to draw down the right decision. But on top of this, at the critical moments in a race, she not only has to draw down the right decisions, but do so in a split second too. Over the course of those years, she has both got it right and wrong, but critically, whether right or wrong, she has learned from the experience, and it is this ability to learn quicker than the majority of her competitors that sets her apart. Athletes' knowledge banks are essentially built on two things. One is the quality of experiences. We want young athletes to be exposed to and explore as many different relevant experiences as possible, both in training and in racing. Let's be clear, we expect them to get it right, to get it wrong, and often to get it really, really wrong, and that's all fine. Second is the learning from those experiences, the reviewing and debriefing of the decisions made. This is what really helps that experience to stick and consequently vastly improves the chances of it being drawn down at the right time in the right place. We not only want to develop intelligent racers, but also athletes who are fearless and positive in the pursuit of their best performance. Being fearless and positive means taking risks, and taking risks will mean failing more often than succeeding, especially in the early stages. Safe to fail environments therefore are hugely important and a big part of us being able to develop the skills and experience set required to support intelligent racing. 